All right, so on the uh, control board here today, we're going to connect the joystick. Now, the joystick comes in several different colored wires. Um, mine have been separated. I needed to do this in order to run it through the frame. Um, so you can reprogram or remap uh, the joystick if you have it mounted a certain way, you know, up, down, left, and right. Um, my joystick is mounted where the pins are pointing uh, down, so it's it's kind of hiding the wires. Um, and so I'm going to hook up the uh, cables now to the control board. Uh, first thing I want to point out is if you see my uh, power soldered here to the board um, with these two spades here, these two um, connectors, uh, that's something that I did in order to add a switch to the middle. So this switch right here um, connects in between my my positive uh, cable and uh, so the switch is what I use to break that continuity um, so that's kind of how I set mine up is I just clipped my power cable right down the middle and then added this little switch here um, you don't you don't need to use all three of these connectors you just need to use the two that's going to make continuity uh, for the for the power um, and the third option is if you want the LED to light up inside of the switch here. I'm not using that. I'm just using it just to break continuity. Um, so if you want to add a switch to your gimbal, you could do that as well. You could just clip your power cable right down the middle here. So you're using um, the same gauge wire so you don't have to add additional wire and then uh, mount your switch. Anyways, let's get back to the joystick. Let's take a look here. Now um, you'll notice on the bottom part here. I have this upside down in the video, but if you look at yours, you'll be able to see it. Look very closely. There are some lettering and some, some numbers. Uh, the one here is the button. Um, now that button is for the joystick. As you press the joystick, there's a momentary button inside and that allows you to switch profiles. So you click it once, twice, three times, four times. Um, so you're going to attach your yellow and blue cable to the button right here. So let me put that first like this and then like this. So if you guys could see where it goes, um, you'll notice right next to the blue cable, it says BTN. That's the button right there. So that's where you want to have your blue and yellow cable. Uh, right now I'm going to remove this just so we can get to the other cables and you guys can see that. The next set of wires you're going to do is your black, red, white, and brown. Um, so first thing we're going to start out with is the red. Actually, we'll do the black just so you can see it better. Um, you'll see here, we'll do, we'll do black and then we'll do red. And if you look closely, underneath that red, you'll see that 3.3 volt. So the red will go closest to that and then the black will go just underneath that. And then underneath uh, or next to it, you're going to add the white and brown. So again, you can remap this any way you want, but right now we'll just put the white next to the black and the brown next to the, uh, the white. So if you guys could see where that sits right there. Now you have a third axis here. Uh, in the joystick, as you push up and down, that could control, say, your tilt. And if you go left and right, that will control your, say, roll. Now, the joystick can't control a third axis, so you're not going to use this A3 port here. But um, all of these options in the board are if you want to use like say an external remote in which you can control all three of those um, axes. You could do pitch, roll, and yaw. Uh, but in our joystick, our analog joystick, we're, we're only using two of the axes. So that's why you only have two and you're not using the third one here. So again, your finished product, let me put the uh, yellow and blue back on where the button is right there and that's what your finished product is going to look like 
So again, on your joystick, you have two axes to control um, pitch and roll if you want. And then this right over here is controlling your momentary push button. So as you click the joystick, you'll be able to change profile. So that is how you would mount your joystick.